This is from New to Ways. While I do like to credit Reagan for the end of the Cold War with the USSR, I also know that Chernobyl did more to end that weapons race than the Star Wars propaganda game Reagan played. It was Chernobyl, Belarus, Pripyat, and the surrounding wilderness that they did not evoke the sheer magnitude of the calamity, nor do all the pictures and reports of the dead dying and mutated. Going there does, but that is above and beyond what any of my critics have ever done or will ever do. Having experienced the area firsthand, having gone back to the central coast of California and seen the legacy of Fukushima firsthand too, I again prove I am more willing than my critics to see the facts. Again, Chernobyl was a single reactor meltdown that only had 30% of the core escape containment. USSR devastated its military, economy, and population to contain it. They have thus far been successful, but only relatively speaking. Thousands of square miles of Russian surrounding countries are contaminated. Decontamination is a myth. It is a process by which they promote the concept of safe nuclear power. But in reality, it is creating more nuclear waste and more contaminated area. Because all they do is scrape up everything, including dead bodies, check those bags, stacked up all about Japan for the missing homeless as they become a rad waste the second they signed up for the cleanup. Have you seen these images from Japan showing the mountains of black bags filled with radioactive soil? You probably wonder what they're going to do with them, right? The bags only last a few years and in fact I've seen pictures of bags already broken with weeds sticking out from them. Well the mystery is solved. The government changed the law in secret meetings so that the radioactive waste is no longer radioactive. They raised the safety level from 100 becquerel per kilogram to 8,000 becquerel per kilogram. According to the secret meetings, the formerly radioactive material will be now safely used as construction material across the nation. Now I wonder what they will do with the radioactive water stored in already leaking giant tanks around the nuclear plants. They are right by the Pacific Ocean. By the way, for those who cannot grasp what all this oddity means, the simple way to understand, the Japanese government decided to work with media and industry to make money off of people's health. It is more profitable to spread radiation across Japan than taking care of people's lives. And that way, those who take care of people's health can make money too. But if they are dead or surrounded by radiation everywhere, how do they appreciate money? I really think this whole capitalism thing is a huge fucking bullshit. Japan to recycle waste collected during Fukushima decontamination. Level 7. It's a major release of radioactive material with widespread health and environmental effects requiring implementation of planned extended countermeasures. After five long years Fukushima triple meltdown with 100% of all three cores escaping containment remains unresolved, uncontained, and unmentioned in most national media reports. It was originally listed a level 7 nuclear event by the International Atomic Energy Agency the IAEA, on their International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale INES, but was redesignated down to three level 5s and one level 3 where right after Tokyo announced it would host the Olympic Games. Understand that Chernobyl was a level 7, it was not redesignated. Even when it was contained within 6 months, it remains a level 7. Level 7 is as high as the IAEA INES scale extends for severity in a nuclear incident. 2020 is the date of the Tokyo Olympics. So tell me, what athlete, what spectator, and what type of nation would force either to attend the event only 149 miles by air because fallout travels in the wind away from an ongoing, uncontained, level 7 times 3 nuclear incident. You have to wear protective clothing and gear to be that close to Chernobyl, you know. It's been five long years. The reactors remain in limbo. The cores are nowhere to be found. And each day, 300 to 700 metric tons of contaminated water flows into the Great Pacific Nuclear Waste Dump. 
formerly known as the Pacific Ocean pre-Fukushima. At what point do my critics become concerned by the calamity? Perhaps when General Electric stops paying, you detroit me. Based on the 2014 failures of the ice wall and its recent reshared media propaganda playout about the latest attempt to make it work, I don't think four more years will make things any safer in Tokyo for anyone, let alone the Fukushima prefecture. If Japan does not cancel hosting the Olympic Games, they confirm themselves as monsters. Fukushima is a planet killer, and if I know this, so does the IAEA and every government representative of every industrialized nation. They just don't want to crash the global economy, at least not until they have squeezed every last dime they can from a dying beast. Climate change, global warming, was nuclear's promoted propaganda to promote the nuclear renaissance. We are now collateral damage in a nuclear war devoid of mushroom clouds. You have been dirty bombed by General Electric's piss poor Mark I reactor design. We are all just self propelled biological nuclear waste absorption units now. Much like the mushrooms, the human body absorbs transuranic isotopes readily and like mushrooms most of us are kept in the dark and fed on shit, the media petals. By the time most of you in the northern hemisphere manage to grasp the facts, many around you or even you will already have cancer and you don't have decimal places on your bank statements to matter to the folks that cause and are exploiting this calamity, Fukushima. To my critics, well you're worse than the monsters in Japan. You are the lowest of the slime spreading pond scum sucking greasy gastropods on the human evolutionary timeline. Stromatolites showed a greater environmental awareness and desire for self-preservation than your feeble brains can muster. They cannot fix this. As for me, you won't shut me up. I remain the salt that dissolves the body for your oozing lies. Nor will your efforts stop me from enjoying what time and nature's we have left. I'll be wandering in nature's wilderness and play with your big bad wolf for real. Anyone defending nuclear power now is committing crimes against all life. Subscribe to our channel so our latest clips always come directly to you. Also, check out our playlist and be sure to like and share our videos with your friends. So have fun and thank you for spreading the love.